What's up, champions? What's up, hustlers? Hope you guys are good. Hope you guys are having a blessed Sunday. Hope you didn't forget to thank God for blessing you with more days, more seconds, more minutes, more hours on earth. Yeah. So I got a really, really interesting question today from one of my clients, and I just thought maybe I should share with you guys. Maybe, maybe someone might have the same uh, thought and maybe they may reconsider and and do things the proper way. So my client asked me uh, if one can live off trading alone. And in other words, uh, perhaps maybe leave your job to fully focus on trading. Well, uh, personally, I'd say don't leave your job for forex trading. Unless if you're good at what you do, you've been trading maybe for more than two years, more than three years, you've got stats, statistics that can prove your consistency. There's money in your bank account that can prove that you've consistent and you have money saved up apart from the one that you're going to use to trade that can sustain you for the next two to three years whether you're making money or losing money on trading. Why do I say that? Now, you find people uh, that think of leaving their jobs uh, to basically, let's say for example, I've got 50,000 rand now that I've saved up. Uh, I'm trading now for the past month or two. Uh, I've made a little bit of money here and there, made losses, but here and there I've made 20,000 rand, I've made 10,000 rand, then I'm thinking of leaving my job and so, no guys. Remember, there are losses in trading. That's one thing you must keep in mind, that there's losses in trading. doesn't matter how good you are. So if you leave your job with only the money that you have now, uh, and you tell yourself, you, I mean, you, in a month, you'll be able to raise money to pay your rent, raise money to pay for your car, raise money to pay for school fees for your kids and so on. Already you on the right wrong path, sorry. You on the wrong path because of now you're gonna trade under pressure. You've put a timeline. As I always say, timelines in trading are not good. You need to go into trading with the aim of growing money. So you've you've put you've put a timeline into your trading. That's the first thing that you've done wrong. You're gonna trade under pressure and you can't afford to lose that those funds. You can't afford to lose that capital. then you, you're already not on the right path. You're just going to be all over the place. Do you get my point? So, if you know what you're doing, you've got stats, stats that can prove you that you, you're consistent. There's money in your bank account that can prove that, not in your trading account, in your bank account that can prove that you, you're consistent and you, you know what you're doing. Because remember, trading is about consistency. You're only a winner when your wins are more than your losses. You understand? No one can tell you that I'm a winner because of I always make wins. No, there's no such thing. That's bullshit. So, excuse my language, sorry. So so basically what I'm trying to say, guys, uh, before rushing into hasty decisions like that, you need to have certain things in place. You need to have records that can prove that you're good at what you're doing. Otherwise... You just voluntarily throwing yourself in a depression hole. Never trade with money you cannot afford to lose. If you've got 2,000 rand, 5,000 rand, 10,000 rand, and that is your last money, do not take that money and put into trading with the hope of making more. 
What happens if you lose it? It's trading, guys. Do you get my point? It's, it's trading. Do you understand? Timelines are the problem. Until you get to a point where you can trade a small account for more than three months, more than four months, without pressurizing yourself, but with the aim of growing that account, then you're heading somewhere. But the timelines and the pressure and wanting to double accounts in a week, in a month, to cover rent, to cover whatsoever, it's, it's not needed in trading. So, do both. Keep your job and trade. The trading itself, the trading itself and your bank balance will tell you when it's time for you to leave your job. Not yourself. The trading itself and your bank balance, when it's time for you to now fully focus on trading, they will tell you. You won't, you don't just decide this because you made 10,000 rand or 20,000 rand last month. Remember, you need money to trade. You risk money to make money. Don't put money you cannot afford to lose. I'm I'm Most of the things that I talk about are things that I've personally experienced. I'm not talking fairy tales or whatever. I'm talking from things that I've personally experienced. I know what I'm talking about. Take my advice. Don't take it. I'm just sharing. Maybe someone out there might listen. But anyway, uh, keep learning. Keep practicing. Practice makes permanent. Keep upgrading those skills. Eventually you get there. Do not give up just because you've made a loss. It's because you lost a bit of money. Keep learning, keep learning, keep learning, keep learning. Eventually you'll get there. Remember, when we come on earth, we don't come on earth with these skills and whatever. If someone else can do it, so can you. We learn these things, guys. When we come, when we are born, we're not born English. We go to school and we learn. Same applies to everything. When we are born, we're not born with driving skills. We go to driving schools and we learn how to drive. Do not undermine yourself. Do not underestimate yourself. You can do it. You just need to commit yourself to learning. You just need to commit yourself to practice. And invest more time in, in, in that craft. Kandela, 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 Kandela. She told you a lot